So let's. We're closing the evaluation of our speakers section, and we are doing our second show your page ever. Carissa is going to share Chiaki Ishimura Simile's page for her Toastmasters Club, and Jennifer Schmidt is going to walk us through show your page. A little bit like table topics, round robin, round robin evaluation. Prepare to look closely at this page when it gets shared. Jennifer Schmidt. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Show your page. We put all this work into our pages and we don't know how it's connecting with our audience. And this is our chance to show what we've done and give some feedback, both uh, positive and ways to strengthen it, just like an evaluation. So this is the new talkers page. Um, I was gonna ask you, Madam Toastmaster, how long would, would you like the responses to be tonight? Sure. The responses today are very quick, 45 seconds to a minute 15. So 45 would be the green, one minute would be the yellow, and a minute 15 would be the red. Okay. All right. Well, as we scroll through the page here, um, give like a few more seconds to kind of take it in as we go back and forth. I'll be quiet for a little bit here. You look at it and gather your thoughts and then we'll do like a round robin to see uh, how much feedback we can give to Chiaki to help her out and make her page stronger. And, and what we really wanna know with Show Your Page is how it's connecting with people who don't usually visit it. I'll be quiet. Uh, if the timer could, uh, could you put like 20 seconds on just so people can look at it? Seems like that would have been about 20 seconds. Has everybody had a chance now? Um, what we did the last time was, I can see the participants. If you could do a raise your hand and then do like a 45 second to the, and we'll call on you if you want to give Shitaki some feedback. Can, how many participants can you see, Jennifer? I see three so far, three. All right. Um, with, should I, are they gonna be able to see the clock or do we have to unshare the page? If they're looking at gallery view, they'll be able to see the timer. Okay. And they All can right. move her depending on their Zoom. Okay. Uh, could we talk, start with, Dr. O'Connor, please. Okay, I'm timing myself. Uh, you, our website is the same. My understanding, uh, this is like a template. I don't know whether the Toastmaster International has changed it. Could we just not be created and create our own, not follow the regulation of Toastmaster International? Because most website, Looks like this. Ours look like this too. Okay. Uh, is there something about the page that stands out that you that reflects with you? And I know you're saying it's a template, but or you're seeing it like the same. But is there a comment that you could give that's something that's working that's part of the page? The, the way I look at it, I, I think it's just, we scroll too much downward. Okay. I'm not sure if in the real page, because we are on Zoom, uh, the less you scroll the page, the better for me. Okay. 
All right. Uh, appreciate the feedback there. I go on to the next person. Andrea, could you please comment? Sure. I really enjoy the photo. I think it's really bright and and clear and it's, it's a great photo. Um, the second photo, I'm wondering is that if that's a photo of your club or not? I like the ones that are personal to the clubs so you can really get a sense of their personality. Also, um, I think that, yeah, the other, is that from your club? I mean, it's, it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. It says noon talkers. Okay, cool. That's great. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Maybe my time is up. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for the feedback. Phyllis Harmon, could you go next, please? Great. I have a couple of ideas for you. Number one, put the time and the link or however you're going to do it at the top of the page because you want people to see that. The next thing is you have a great opportunity is to record Zoom and put a video on your website. Have people talking about why they like your club. Just a real quick little something that you can put on there as a video that people can turn on and look at and hear the actual members talking as they're looking at your website. Put your information where you're going to, what time you meet, all of that information at the top, have your video next, and then everything else falls below it. I think my time's up. All right, thank you so much. Kathleen, could you go next, please? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> It's too wordy. <laughs> There's a lot of different words and a lot of different colors and a lot of different um, sizes. And I think that I tend to look at these things from the perspective of somebody who is new to Toastmasters and probably nervous or not quite sure what to expect. So moving the picture up and putting the, the time of the meeting and how to, to get to the meeting, particularly during COVID is probably critical, but try and simplify. There's duplicate information on this page and invite them in to go to the other tabs to look for information and put more different kinds of photos at where the member profiles are or the gallery is. All right, thank you so much. Um, M. Rowe, would you like to go next? Thank you. To build on that, I would suggest changing the mission statement copy to not be the same header as the our mission statement. And then all of the red sounds kind of like I'm a student being chastised by a teacher. And then one more suggestion would be instead of asking your user to find the main menu and then go to contact us. Just make that a clickable link and just hyperlink the contact us CTA and capture a few more potential guests more easily. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, Dan Brewer, Scotty, would you go next please? Yeah, I mean, I, they, they kind of said some of it, but pictures. I want to see the pictures. I want to, uh, the, the words are nice, and but I want to see the pictures. And I also need to know, uh, you've got here, whenever I see a meeting that's being held at a uh, corporate place, I want it right up front to know that it's not a corporate club. So you have it about halfway down, it says club open to all. I, I'd love to see that right on top. And then just pictures of whatever you can get that uh, you got people giving speeches, evaluations, parties, whatever you guys do to make it fun, uh, really invite me to come over there. So that those are my comments. All right, thank you. And uh, Brenda Dennis, please. Thank you. I really like the come visit us. I think that grabs you, but I'd like to see it in a little larger font, maybe at least the same size as the mission statement font. And I found the, the part that was lined out the, at the Fred Meyer corporate office where that's lined out, I found that really distracting. So if that could be removed until we get back to being able to meet in person, I think that might be helpful to just clear it up. 
but I, I did really like to come visit us and I uh, agree with your previous comments about moving the pictures up a little bit. Thank you. All right, and the last comment or hand I see is for Adam. Uh, would you like to comment? Yeah, thank you, Jen Jennifer. So right off the bat, I really love the photo down in the middle, like everyone's smiling and it shows a lot of warmth and it kind of feels inviting. Uh, Dan kind of touched on it. And uh, since I'm super new to like building my club page, I just got really involved into the online presence a few weeks back. So I've been researching some other club websites and what really jumps out to me typically with other clubs is that like Dan touched on a lot of photos, links to video, links to maybe your YouTube page, maybe uh, a repository where you share your videos. And one thing which I personally felt um, might appeal to someone who is completely new to Toastmasters is some of the value propositions of what Toastmasters brings to the table, like communication, leadership, so on and so forth. So if you could include that somewhere down there, um, I, I feel like that appeals to a complete newcomer. That's it, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. A lot of great comments here, some takeaways we can use at our own club. And really appreciate you giving she, Aki some feedback here. So thank you so much. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Jennifer. I would like to give a little round of applause to Chiaki. She knows that she wants to work on this section of her PR and volunteer to just put it out there today and hear the feedback and you know, okay, what should I do? How am I gonna plan? What is that first step I'm gonna take? What's most important? And she did it. And so definitely good job, Chiaki. And I'm sure you're going to find ways to move your club forward and just figure out what this one project can mean to you because everything is one step at a time. We can't do everything at once, but we can build over time. That's one of the big values that we keep finding is those little tips we get from each other. I get little tips all the time. And this next segment is...